Welcome to our lecture online. The next problem from the JE main test deals with thermodynamics. And this one here deals with kinetic theory of gases. And they give you four statements and they ask you the following. On the basis of, on the basis on the kinetic theory of gases, the gas exerts pressure because the molecules, and then these four statements should be able to finish that sentence. Either they suffer change in momentum, they can continue to stick to the walls, they continuously lose their energy, or they're attracted by the walls. Which of these four statements is true? So we need to understand more about what they mean by the kinetic theory of gases. And so if you know that, the answer will become apparent very, very quickly. If you don't know the kinetic theory of gases, you might be able to figure things out. But let's talk about the kinetic theory of gases. So, what they are saying in that theory is that, of course, there's a whole bunch of molecules and travel in all kinds of different directions, but you could simplify things by assuming that because each of the velocities will have the three components in the x, y, and z direction, you can assume that one-third of all the molecules travel in one direction, one-third of the molecules travel in the second direction, and one-third of all the molecules travel in the third direction, x, y, and z directions, of course. And we can even make it more simplistic, let's have all the molecules going back and forth in just one direction to simplify it. So what exerts pressure at the side of the wall or the wall of the container? Well, what creates pressure is a molecule bumping into the wall and then going back in the other direction at the same velocity. So we have a plus V velocity here, minus V velocity here, so that the delta V is equal to two times the um, the magnitude of delta V is two times V, of course. That's the way we should look at it. And then we can also think about impulse. We know that the impulse is equal to uh, force times delta T. And we know that pressure is equal to force divided by area. So that force is equal to pressure times area. So that the impulse is equal to pressure times area times delta T, or finally, when we, put it all, when we put it all together, oh, pressure, that's not a good looking A here. A, there we go. And then when we put it all together, we can say that pressure is equal to the impulse divided by the area divided by delta T. And the impulse, of course, would be M times the change in velocity divided by area. My A's look terrible here today, times delta T. And of course, that would be equal to M times 2V. I'm missing my two here really messing up today. There we go, 2V divided by A times delta T. So it all is this. What, means, what this means is that the pressure is created by the change in velocity and then how often does this occur? And then on any one wall, the time that it takes between collisions, that's the total amount of time that elapses. So when it travels from here to here to there, that's your delta T. Once you know your velocity and you know the length of travel, you can fi find your delta T. So essentially, the pressure is equal to the mass times twice the velocity times the area times the time it takes to go from here to here and back. That's what we mean by the kinetic theory of gases in a nutshell. So once you know that, you look at the four answers and it says that the molecules suffer a change in momentum when they impinge on the walls of the container. That's exactly what is happening. And so, from that, we can say answer A appears to be correct. But just to be on the sure side, let's read the other three answers to make sure that none of those are correct. Continuously stick to the walls of the container. Well, if they stick to the walls of the container, then how would they get unstuck? And then how long would they be stuck? So, that doesn't seem like a reasonable explanation. How about the next one? Continuously lose their energy until they reach too many E's there, until they reach the wall. Hmm. Hmm. That means the molecule we're traveling would be slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, slowing down, and when it reaches the wall, it speeds up again. That doesn't seem to make sense. There's no reason for the molecule to be slowing down. So that seems not to be a good solution. And finally, they're attracted by the walls of the container. Well, if that was the case, then they would move faster, faster, faster as they get close to a wall. They move slower as they get away from a wall. And then since they're attracted, would they be caused to stick to the wall? Would they then come back at a slower velocity? 
Again, it doesn't appear like that would be the case, and all the molecules would constantly be changing velocity throughout, and that also doesn't seem to be the case. So those are the three answers are not good answers. This one definitely is the one that meets the criteria for the kinetic theory of gases. And again, I spend a lot of time explaining it, but this is something that you should immediately think about. Kinetic theory of gases, ha, ah, that's about the molecules going back and forth. They strike the wall, the pressure is created by the change in momentum. Therefore, answer A must be correct. And so that could be a 15 second question after you read it and move on to the next one. And that is how it's done. <laughs>